Hey guys, before starting the video, I'd like to say thank you since uh, my last video got uh, 2,000 views. I really truly appreciate appreciate that. So um, yeah, thank you so much. And let's start with guide. So in the description, I leave you guys these two programs right here. Uh, so first of all, you wanna extract reserve CPU sets. So just extract your folder. So after you've got the folder extracted, you're gonna go into it, and we're gonna open reserved CPU sets as admin. Okay, so under here, what you wanna do is um, we are going to check C both CPU one and our uh, basically our last core, right? So after that, you're just gonna set okay. And uh, um, if you are under 21H2, you're gonna add this to startup. Uh, this is just because Windows works differently on different versions, so yeah. Okay, so after that, we're gonna uh, extract Power Settings Explorer. Now, once we've got ourselves uh, this folder right here, we're just gonna go into it and run Power Settings Explorer as admin as well. Okay, so now we're just gonna click on Unhide All. It's gonna take a while though. So after you've done that, just press apply, close out of this. Now let's go to control panel. Let's go under power options. Now on your power plan, should be different, but whatever. I just uh, reset my plans. Go on change plan settings, advanced power settings. Now uh, what you're gonna look for is interrupt steering settings. You're gonna go under here, interrupt steering mode, and you're gonna set this to processor one. Right, just apply, okay. Now you're gonna wanna go on Steam, right click the game, go under properties, and on the launch options, we are gonna set um, preferred processor. And you're gonna type in your last score. In my case, it was uh, 15. So yeah. Now, if you do have a wireless mouse, um, it's pretty recommended that you uninstall its software. Uh, before that, you should back up your settings onto the memory on the mouse. Uh, for example, your DPI and all of that. You can save that to the mouse memory in most cases. Uh, for example, if it's a Logitech or a Razer, you can do that perfectly. So um, after you do that, just uninstall the program. It's unnecessary bloat. And you should really connect your mouse with uh, the charger to the PC, like the USB cable, and make sure to turn the um, switch on the mouse off so that the wireless USB is not actually working. This will decrease your input lag because you're converting your wireless mouse into a wired mouse, which we all know it has less latency, so yeah. Now this isn't really recommended, but you can try it and test it. Make sure to really test it because uh, it's kind of experimental. Now, uh, you'll see your USB controllers here. Uh, if it says USB, you know you're in the right one. So, in under intra priority, you can try and set this to high. Uh, as, as I said before, this isn't recommended. It only works for some people. But yeah, if you really have a lot of input lag, you can try this out. Now, if you have a Logitech mouse, this is something really interesting. Uh, you can look for Logitech OMM. This is basically a replacement for D-Hub, so you're going to click on this R right here and select Windows 10 or 11, depending on where you have, so I'm going to select 10. So just click here under download now. Now it should download here. And you can set everything you want under here. This program basically works just like G-Hub does, but it has less bloat and it's lighter, so I really recommend using this instead of G-Hub. Also, it doesn't run in the background, so... Now, if you're playing on a laptop, that's probably the main reason why you're getting input lag. But we can actually mitigate that. So, you know, laptops usually, usually have this kind of floaty mouse feeling. So to fix that, we can go on your mouse software. In my case, I'm going to use OMM. So on the report rate or polling rate, you're going to set it to either 500 
or 250. Now if you're playing on a really old laptop you can use 125 but this will basically give you more input lag. So yeah, I recommend using between 500 and 1000 if you had a really good PC. Now once you've done all of that, you're going to want to go under Regedit or Registry Editor or Finish Admin. Now after you do that, go under HQ Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Control, and then look for Priority Control. Now under Win32 Priority Separation, uh, for the lowest latency, you can use 36. Now this isn't real, really recommended because it can give you some stuttering and some bad stuff. So you should only really use that if you've got a really good PC or basically a really good CPU. That's all you need. But for a mid baseline, I'd recommend using either 25 hex or 26 hex. Uh, for the best performance, though, I always use 24 decimal. Now, if after doing all of that, you're still getting bad latency, I recommend following the Calypso's latency guide. This is a really good guide. It's really interesting. It has a lot of information, so I really do recommend following this. Uh, it basically explains more advanced stuff that not everyone knows. So yeah, if you're still getting bad latency after all of my tweaks, uh, be sure to check it out. I'll leave the link down in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see a latency guide on how to fix your ping and starters on network for PUBG, let's get 500 likes and I'll drop it out as soon as possible. So, as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.